You're listening to the Atra Request Show with Nick Collins. This is Up FM 107.5. Yep, welcome on back to the Atcher Request Show. My name is indeed Nick Collings. In a sec, we're going to be talking to the man that wrote the tune you were listening to in the background, Auckland Fidget Househead, Red Squad. To get you in the mood, though, get you excited, this is his new one. It's called Make Some Noise. This is a little bit of Red Squad, and on the line, I should have Red Squad. Are you there, bud? Hey, hey, how's it? Yeah, good. Hey, buddy, how are you going today? Ah, uh, pretty good, eh? Um, not yeah. stuck out in the rain. Yeah, that has been a pretty shocking day, actually. Yeah, it's not the best. Now, for the people out there, uh, I'm going to give you uh, guys a bit of an insight as to who Red Squad is. In my opinion, he's one of the most underrated and talented fidget house and electro house heads that uh, Auckland, if not New Zealand has uh, to offer at the moment. You've been doing the business lately on, well, a whole truckload of labels, including Baboon Tunes, which is Make Some Noise, uh, yep. Big Popper Records, New Style, uh, Bomb Beats, and a whole truckload of uh, others as well. So I want to uh, bring to the attention of the Up FM listener about Red Squad so that those guys can go out and see one of, uh, well, the more most underrated producers in Auckland, uh, in my opinion. Is that a fair uh, assumption? There, Mr. Red Squad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what, sorry, what was the question? Um, it was. It wasn't really a question. I was just rocking out the statement uh, that you're. That uh, <laughs> personally, I think you're pretty underrated. How do you yeah. uh, see yourself in the uh, in kind uh, of the New Zealand yeah. dance scene? I guess um, basically, um, in regards to um, label-wise, I mean, I've just um, approached uh, some labels online, and um, yeah, I think it was um, a big popper records who uh, actually it was Flexual Records who um, you know, I guess they, they sort of who, who won my tracks on, on YouTube and sort of you know they, they liked it and, and they basically and then I sent them more, more tracks and they've um, you know I guess I got a call on from there and then um, you know the label started started you know become interested. I haven't really been DJing, so I guess you know a lot of people you know really haven't heard um, in New Zealand anyway haven't heard my name up there so um, which I shall be getting into as uh, far as DJing is concerned so yeah well that's not too bad you've been blowing up the world over rather than uh, rather than New Zealand New Zealand will follow in true uh, Kiwi fashion I think yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely um, um, like to get my name up here um, yeah, in New Zealand because um, I guess that's yeah, I live and uh, the music's pretty good here. So, no, have you been living here your whole life? Uh, I've been, um, yeah, well, oh, most I guess I've been living here for about fifteen years now. So, but before that, you're in? I was in South Africa. I was actually, yeah, I'm actually South African. So. <laughs> Yeah. Original descent. Now, uh, obviously, you, you do the the kind of fidgety, uh, or fidget house stuff, the electro house stuff as well. Um, who were some of your idols within that, you know, within that genre that uh, you know you, you kind of listen to and go, oh man, that is a fat tune. I want to make something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, oh, so many. Um, basically, uh, stupid fresh. Um, really like the the sound. Um, I must still do. Um, you know, Lee Lee Mortimer, um, Tommy Q. Uh, you know all, the, all those dudes I've uh, definitely um, you know followed and and um, tried to um, and also uh, you know quite the uh, like Crooks records um, you know the more heavy sort of sound of fidget um, I've, I've really liked that sort of sound um, and even even the more more jacking tech, tech sound of fidget like um, you know um, hijack 
um, uh, you know, Wongo and all those dudes, just, just uh, Mighty Fools and those, those dudes just been following them and, and um, just have been idols and try, uh, try to, um, you know, produce like them and sort of taken my own little route um, and add a bit of my own flavour. <laughs> Yeah. Nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. Now, what do you use to produce? Now, we've got, you know, everyone's kind of like a, a budding producer at the moment. So everyone's kind of like, oh, do you use Ableton? Do you use Fruity? Do you use uh, Logic? Do you have a massive studio? Do you have a little studio? Give us the uh, give us the lowdown. What are you using to write your tunes at the moment? Well, I wouldn't say my studio is huge. Um, you know, basically, I've, um, I'm using FL Studio um, 9 um, and have been you know, ever since. I mean, I haven't actually used anything else. Um, and, you know, I've just, I've just got a, a MIDI keyboard. Um, I've got a deal screen set up um, using KOK monitors. Um, nothing, nothing, you know, I don't... I mean, I, I, I pretty much use one piece of software, and I do use, um, like, Wave plugins. Um, and just I do have data that I have purchased online. Um, but mainly, you know, FL is the, is the main um, tool that I use. So, yeah. Um, don't, don't use anything too fancy. <laughs> now, you're kind of, uh, what, I've, what I'm noticing in most of your tracks, a lot of them have just a real catchy sample or a hook or something like that. They have kind of the theme going on uh, to them. At the moment, I'm playing Rock and Roller in the background. Uh, for example, the big kind of electro, uh, the big electric guitar, um, you know, makes some noise. It's got some, uh, you know, classic DJ cool samples. Where do the ideas come from? You know, when you're sitting there and you've got your blank, template as such um you know where do the ideas come from for a red squad track uh yeah it's uh, it's pretty difficult i mean if if i do if i come across a sample that i like um whether it be a cappella or um just just a general i'll just work around that um but uh pretty much uh to be honest i uh a lot of it i'll make up as i go and um you know i just i do experiment a lot with different sounds and as soon as i find something that i like that works with you know, my bass line or whatever percussion, um, I just go with that and pretty much just build on top of it. So it's, um, I, although I do have, you know, um, as I said, you know, if I go through like different acapellas or even, um, you know, sa- uh, samples um, and, you know, if I, I try to work around, um, I do get influenced by, by different, you know, um, it, just, it does vary. I mean, sometimes I make it up, sometimes I'm influenced by a certain sample or, um, yeah, or an idea that's gone through my head. Um, so it's, it's a bit of both, you know. Um, yeah. yeah it's... Now, the Red Squad track, Make Some Noise, is the latest one out on uh, most of the digital download sites, including um, uh, beatport.com. Where else can um, people find your uh, find and yeah. buy uh, Make Some Noise? Uh, make some noise. Uh, make some noise is um, would, well. Basically, as far as I know, it's on Beatport um, through uh, Baboon Tunes. Um, the, yeah, I'd say uh, Beatport. I mean, there's a lot of I've got other remixes on on, on tra- uh, Track It Down, um, Download.com, uh, or DJ Download. Sorry, uh, all the decent download sites. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as far as make some noise goes, as far as yeah, as far as, as, far as I'm aware, it's just on Beatport. So, uh, now, when did you make make some noise? Because sometimes. That, uh, yeah. you know, sometimes there's uh, quite a gap between when uh, you make yeah. them and when they come out. When was this one in yeah. particular uh, uh, made? Actually, um, with Makes of Noise, I was working on a remix which I'd finished, taking me about a week. Uh, and then the, the Make Some Noise track, I sort of just did straight after I finished the remix, just as a sort of, um, yeah, I liked the, uh, it was, it was, there was another sample I sort of liked, and I, I laid that down. And it literally took me four hours to complete the track. Um, start, start to finish. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it just came to me like it just worked, you know. Uh, some tracks just work. Um, some tracks you have to um, sit in the studio for a week trying to get, you know, trying to get um, sounding okay. But this one really, um, yeah, it's just, just, yeah, just been really well. And I finished it within four hours um, from start to finish, mixed and everything. So it was pretty, um, pretty, pretty productive, um, you know, in regards to that. But, um, yeah, it's, yeah, pretty much four hours. Everything uh, kind of just fell into place relatively easy for that one. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So. Now, make some noise is the latest one. What's forthcoming for Red Squad? What can uh, the people look out for in the next, uh, you know, coming months from yourself? Uh, I do have an EP out in Big Popper Records. It's uh, the Base Roots EP, uh, which is featuring the uh, Base Roots uh, Nightmare and What's Up, uh, which is out in July. Um, so, it's, um, yeah, and. Um, 
Uh, I do have a few remixes underway for Royal K and um, for the artists there. Um, but that's the main that's the main sort of thing for me is the EP. Um, and as I said, we'll be getting, uh, we'll be um, you know playing my stuff out. Now it is a uh, it's a three track EP. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah three tracks. Uh, uh, is there a difference in the three in the three tunes? How would you describe each uh, tune on each on that EP? track? Uh, yeah. Say bass roots. Uh, you know, it has a lot of the um, sort of rust uh, sort of um, samples in it, a uh, bit of a Jamaican feel. Um, yeah, but again, very quite you know heavy sort of abrasive. Um, well, I, I'd say the whole EP is more quite abrasive, like um, bass lines and quite heavy, and um, you know um, it's. It, it, I mean, more on the heavy side of fidget, but um, yeah. So, but 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 space roots is, is more of a um, a, it's got a rustic sort of feel to it, and then um, and then what's up has the uh, sample from uh, um, I'm sure every I'm sure everybody's guessed it from um, uh, from that movie. Oh gosh, uh, uh, gosh, uh, sample the sample's from uh, one of those movies. Um, what is it called? What is it called? The movie? Oh, I forgot the. It's a scary movie. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's the, the What's Up sample. Um, anyway, that's where I got the idea from. And then uh, Nightmares from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, um, which is the, I'm sure, I'm sure, again, again everybody's guessed the sample from Nightmare on Elm Street, um, which is, um, and again, quite, quite a racist track uh, with a bit of dubstep in the middle. Um, we, we're actually going to play Nightmare in a second. It was actually the first time, first time I'd heard it was uh, was this morning. Um, I'm a big I'm a big Nightmare on Elm Street fan, and I quite like it. So I'm looking forward to showing everyone uh, uh, Nightmare when I get to play it in a sec. Awesome, awesome, yeah, um, yeah. And um, people can check me out on Facebook. Um, they, if you go to Facebook, search Red Squad. Um, I'll have links on there on, on, on my tracks and um, also on my SoundCloud. Um, there's a SoundCloud page you can go to uh, soundcloud.com forward slash Red Squad. Um, I I try and keep it updated, but you can yeah, you can find more more my stuff on there. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much. I don't have a MySpace thing, which I'm trying to sort out. <laughs> hey, that's all good. Well, there you have it from Red Squad himself. Look out very very soon. That is the Baseline Roots. Did you say? Yeah, uh, Baseline Roots EP. Yeah. Baseline Roots EP Triple EP is coming out very very soon. So make sure uh, each and every single person. Uh, out there goes and checks it out go and buy it so that uh, Red Squad can go and buy some more plugins and and uh, you know I don't know maybe another MIDI keyboard or uh, a new screen or something like that so you can <laughs> carry on and uh, write those fantastic tunes that you're doing Mr. Red Squad thank you very much for uh, taking the time to have Excellent. a chat with us today awesome thanks for having me man that's great sweet as buddy take it easy and uh, yeah stay out of the rain awesome alright buddy take <laughs> it easy thank you there you have it Red Squad He gave you all the links as to uh, where to find him on the internet there. We're going to listen to Nightmare right now. Brand new one from Red Squad coming out very, very soon here on UpFM. Pass to the Subtronics party. Subtronics presents Liquid City. It's time for round two of your brand new monthly liquid drum and bass fix. 
Tokyo Pros Merge, Grind and Chapter. If you want to win a single pass to Liquid City, tell me the name of the forthcoming Red Squad EP. Tell me the name of it, the first text to throw that correctly names the new Red Squad EP that is about to come out will win a single pass to Subtronics Presents Liquid City. is Nightmare. It is by Red Squad. It is off the Baseline Roots EP. Coming out very, very soon from Red Squad. Still looking for that winner. If you want to win a single pass to Liquid City, then all you have to do is text me in 8736, name the EP. That is forthcoming from Red Squad. And bloody good to have him on the line. 